Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today's Monday and this is actually the second video I am making today because the first one, I'm not sure I'll be able to get it posted by tonight so I wanted to make another one and I thought I would show you some different things that I got that, and some a couple of things, just some things I want to tell you about. So the first one is a new fragrance. I actually have had this and was waiting to wear it and tell you about it in my Nordstrom video and forgot. I got so caught up in my Skylar scents that I forgot to try this one. This one is one that my friend Sylvia mentioned to me and I noticed when I looked it up that Guerlain has come out with several different fragrances that are, they look like this but they're different colors. The fact that that has a B on it, but does everything from Guerlain have a B on it? But you know I like bees. But this one is called Coconut Fizz. Sit beneath coconut trees in the tropical garden and savor the freshness of coconut water. Coconut Fizz, the spirit of coconut water with a touch of fresh fruit. I put that on earlier. It is a very light fragrance. It does not have anything deep in it. I don't smell any patchouli, amber, musk anything like that it is kind of a lighter fragrance it's not my favorite if you like what i like i probably wouldn't suggest this but if you don't like what i like and you like say you like dolce and gabbana i always say that because i know that that is like one of the number one smelling fragrances is dolce and gabbana light blue that's just not it's just not something I care for. If you like that, you will like this. It's just more of a fresh, crisp scent. And it is definitely not like a cheesy coconut scent at all. The coconut is very faint, but very pretty. It's not that it's not a pretty scent. What can I compare it to? It is a little bit, a little bit Bobby Brown Beach without the copper tone smell. I don't know if you're going to be able to pick that up, if you can pick up what I'm putting down. <laughs> I said that to my niece the other day, and she looked at me, and I guarantee you she has said that to someone else since then. But anyway, isn't it beautiful? So I'm going to, I'm going to wear it today, see how I feel, and if I don't care for it, I, I don't make many returns to Nordstrom because I have to mail it in, but I don't know. I'll think about it. This is something I used today that I have not used in a long time. It's very expensive, but it is a, man, this is a good product. This is some good stuff and it lasts forever. Like I just keep thinking each pump is going to be the last pump, but it is the Double Tensor by Sisley. It has immediate and long-term effects. It has all kinds of stuff in it. I did not even read about it that are good for your skin, like a serum. Sicily, you know, has great skincare. But many of you have asked me about keeping your makeup on during these humid, humid days. It has been so humid here that we have to run the air condition so much that it's freezing inside. I've been wearing sweatshirts and stuff because it's just so humid. To get it crisp in here, you have to turn it way down. I do know how humid it has been. If you don't like double wear and you want a good primer that holds on your foundation, this is it. It even has like a, when I put it on today, I tried to really pay attention so I could tell you, it has a beautiful scent. It spreads beautifully. It dries down, but leaves a tiny bit of a tacky finish so that when your foundation goes over it, it really, it doesn't keep it from going on smoothly, but it really holds to it. If I had to recommend anything that might be similar but not as expensive, it's not as expensive, it's not as, doesn't smell as good at all. Matter of fact, it smells kind of weird like you're in chemistry class, but the Milk Hydro Primer is a very similar consistency. But I love this and I think I probably will order that again. Okay, this is the lip combo that I have on. And this was really, this is a special little lip combo because one of my subscribers and followers on Instagram sent me a video of a girl, I, can't, I don't know what country she was in, and she was doing, it was right after I did the Kardashian lip technique where you really overline your lips and then you blend it in with your 
lip brush or whatever. I tend to like a smudger brush for your eyeliner better on lip liners. And she sent me that video and I cannot, I don't think we can get this lipstick here in the US. It is the code eight and this color is, oh my goodness. You know I wear one contact. So I've only got one eye that can see up close and this is like a, I'll have to put it down below or on the screen. It's like a French word, I think. But I've seen like in the fro and other people brag on this code eight. So I really do want to try some other stuff. And then the lip liner had this, which was Rich Brown Contour, Lip Contour 2.0 by Huda Beauty. That's what I have on today. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to use that. But I remembered the girl doing it. I remembered that she put it on lightly and she really blended it in. So that's what I did today. And then I put this on and it is so pretty. So let me show you. It has a great consistency. My hands are so bony, it's hard to even get a good swatch. So look how pretty that is. That is what I like right there. When it's not too slicky, but it has that good body and sheen to it. So. Mm -mm. It feels good. I would definitely, definitely buy more of these. And then this is, I love these. This is the lip contour. So I'm gonna put a light line so you see the color. And then I'm going to, I don't know whose horn that is, going off out there. I'm afraid it sounds like it might be in my driveway. Hold on. Hey, I'm not sure. I'll have to ask John when I go downstairs. This morning it was so cute. He said, I've got two things I don't want to do today. I said, okay, what, what are your two things? They were two big things. He said, clean my office, which is full of, you know, boxes and stuff, or clean the garage, which is full of boxes. I was like, okay. First thing you need to do is decide which one would make you happier. Which one would make you feel like you had done something good. And he said, well, the easier one is my office. I said, okay, start with your office and just say, I am going to, the first thing he said is I'd rather go to the gym. And I said, okay, start with your office and say, I'm going to clean in my office for 30 minutes. I said, then go to the gym. And then if you get back and you feel like doing more, you can do more, but at least you feel like you did something and you feel like you did something you should do before something, see his reward is going to the gym. That's how much he loves it. So it was really cute. So thank you so much, Maria, for sending me that video, thinking of me and sending me this lip combo. And she also sent me a beautiful candle. So thank you. Yay. Today, you know, I'm trying things and making sure I like them. And this made the cut. Ooh, this made the cut of things that I didn't get rid of. And this is the NARS Laguna Sunkissed Bronzing Cream. Okay, I used it today. And I used it with the YSL All Hours, and I did not powder my face because I knew I needed to blend this. I used it all around, and then I did go over it a little bit with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in Deep because this is very neutral. It was very, I felt like I needed some sunshine on my face, you know, but it worked beautifully, and I used it. I did not put any Laura Mercier buff or anything. I used it as my eyeshadow. So tell me what you think. Help me decide, is this a keeper? I really, I think I like it better. I kind of wish I could mix this with the Chanel Bronzer Universal because I like the consistency and the potency of this, but I like, it's almost like I'd like to mix the colors too. The Chanel Bronzer is a little too orangey for me. And then this was a little too neutral. So if you mix them all in every way, I think it would be a perfect product but I'm thinking I'm gonna keep this. I'm thinking it's gonna make it. And then I thought, this is funny. I thought, I wanna put on a good blush today, one that you can actually see. So I pulled this one out. I kept all of these. These blushes are, they are just good. And it's the Goya or Goya. And I put my Sonia G brush in it. And I mean, bam, it was like, a, I looked like Raggedy Ann. So I had to, kind of make this side match, and then I went over it with my sponge that I use for my foundation. So be careful for this, but let me know what you think. Is it too bright? How did it go? 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this little makeup update. And in my other video, I'm going to show you my outfit and tell you about all my jewelry. So I will see you then. Thanks for being here. See you soon. Bye-bye.